Hi friends, we will learn how the five important functions for the beginners, in fact for the basic functions what you will frequently use while handling pandas data frame. So those important functions will one by one will discuss. Here we have just imported the pandas. Now let's create a, our data frame. So I am just pasting one dictionary here. This time we are taking a, uh, our creating a data frame by using a dictionary, but you will see from other sources also. So these functions we can use on a large data frame. So let's just create the data frame here. I'm creating data frame is e df equal to pd dot data frame. Now what's where from my data will come? This my data is from my dictionary. This is just above I have declared it. So my data frame is ready. I will just print it and see once how this looks and then we'll use I'm running this. You can see here the output using this the five basic functions will learn. Let's learn about info. So I will just write here in the data frame. I will say info. Now what I will get it. So I am just uh, trying to get the information about the data frame. So here is the output. You can see it tells me whatever the this one and then columns, four columns, then each about the all columns and how much, what are the data types used and the memory uses also. Let's learn about head. So this head function, head, by default it gives the, returns the five rows from the top. Similarly, the tell function returns the five rows from the bottom. I, we can specify also give it as two. So it will return two. by default. This value is five. Now let me just save it. I will just comment this info. Now let's print the head one. So you can see the first two are printed. But while working on head and tell, let's just uh, increase our uh, data frame size because this four five records won't give us a clear picture. So let's go for a bigger database, bigger data frame. Visit this URL and download the Excel file with the sample student data or you can download the CSV file also. In the, it's the same data in the CSV format or you can even copy this. Uh, this particular uh, data frame here is a dictionary actually dictionary then at this line we have created using the same dictionary we have created a data frame and then we have set the index you can use this entire uh, suppose you don't want to download excel or csv you can you copy this code and use it now here you can see once you have downloaded the csv the data frame can be created by just changing the you change your path and this student excel file or if you are download the csv file you can use this particular one csv file and uh, create the data frame or if you are using mysql database then just use this sql dump here and then from you from our uh, mysql database you can call the you can copy that uh, all the records and create your data frame now let's use our csv data that comma separated value the same student table so this i will just paste this line i am just reading the csv data here read csv i am using this line is no more required i am removing in fact this dictionary is not required because my data frame is created now by using data from the csv file so as you have seen we can download it it can be excel also so these are around 35 records now let's just see what this head returns now i am just running this Okay, head returns me this much, this first two. In fact, I can put here um, head, it is return I, by default. It if I'll save this by default, it returns five records. You can see the five. Now, let me comment this line and go for tell. So, sorry, not here, here, print data frame tell. What happens? I'm not giving any input here, I'm just trying to read you can see here there are last five, uh, five records bottom five records let me clear this and run once again you can see this id is 35 34 because there are 35 rows of data is there so last five records i am getting i can put it two also so what i will happen if i it is two then the bottom two records only it will return what happen if i give it minus two now what happened it will return me all the records after second record yeah you can see there are all the records starting from three it has started so first two records it has removed and bottom 
uh, all the rest of the records it has written. So this is the tail. We'll be interested to know how many rows and columns are there in our data frame. So I'll just comment this and print df dot shape. Now this will return me a tuple which specifies. Sorry, where I am? Yeah, here it is. Now I am saving this, running again. What? Are, sorry, it is there. Scroll down. Yeah, you can see here 35 and 5. I'll let me use C clear it now let me run again it will give me 35 and so 35 rows and 5 columns this is a tuple with two elements in that I can specify that also print now I will say uh, number of rows how many rows are there giving df dot shape I am giving first first is the number of rows and the next I'll just copy this line and paste it here now I will say number of columns is equal to this is the next element. So this will give me all the picture. Now let me run this. You can see 35 number of rows is 35 number of columns is 5 because this returns me a tuple. Now this is a one way of knowing it. Another is it can give me the total number of elements in the data frame by give using the size. So let me just see I will say total element total number of uh, data or data or how many elements are there now I will say df dot size what this gives me now just see this yeah number of I let me just save once more df size now let me run this see here okay this is total number of data is 175 how this this is same as number of rows multiplied by number of columns so that gives me 175 or directly i can use size we'll just uh, understand one more concept that is the dimension how many what dimension this particular data frame is so for that i can write dimension equal to now I am giving df dot and dim now what it it will give me one dimension two dimension because it's a two so I am just expecting a output of two so I saved it running it you can see dimension is two now even a suppose I'll take a one column there is a column na name is there so for that I am using here name this is a particular column sorry not here I have to give my data frame particular column so here I'll say name now this name is a one dimension data so I'll get the output as one here you can see the output is one so this is all the important and we left with one more important one this will be also frequently using print let's say df dot columns what are the columns I'll get a output of all the columns whatever is available in the data frame sometime we'll be reading from different different sources and we may not be knowing what are the headers are so then first we can just monitor it telling that what what those headers are so let's just go for it what's this at the last here it is gender it's object so id name class mark and gender these are the columns available in our data frame so these uh, particular functions we frequently use it now uh, i'll just give you one more uh, example here what happens if the data frame we are not having any software to run python and all no problem the same sample data frame you can create in your collab platform or a google cloud platform and run this code because collab supports your pandas by default also we need not have to install let's just last we'll see this so that will give us a foundation for higher study of the pandas data frame i am going to this url my sample uh, data frame is here i am copying it now I'm going to my collab platform. You can have just uh, use your uh, Gmail ID and create this platform. Um, one more code block. I'm pasting it here. So now my data frame is ready. You can see this data frame is ready. That's the same DFI name I maintained. Now next line I will go and I will come here, copy this, whatever we have just used this, the same one I am copying it, pasting it here. 
So the same thing, whatever I have used. Now let's run this. Yeah, you got all this output number of rows, column, whatever we have seen in our uh, uh, desktop environment, we have got it in the cloud environment. So this is also another way to under operate our pandas, work with our pandas data frame and all. Even you can directly take data from a CSV file by mounting the file on the drive and you can use it. We'll doing it working on all these things slowly, slowly by one by one tutorial. I'll request you, please friends, subscribe and share this channel. Please uh, press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post the new new tutorials. We frequent do that and we are going to continue with our pandas uh, data frame and more so please share this with your friends and thank you for watching and once again please post your doubts suggestions questions below in the comment section and thank you for watching